Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Once again, until midnight tonight from the East Coast of the United States of America, and here I am, uh, and uh, gee, should I lower myself a little bit in the frame? Let me see here. Always have to adjust things. You know, I do the whole thing here. I do all the switching and all that crap, so, you know, whatever. Anyway, it's uh, time to, uh, to bring in a person we use every now and then when I don't have anything else to do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and his name is Phil Meyer. Hello, Phil. How are you? I'm just fine, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you must be scraping the bottom of the barrel if well, you got I, me. Here, here's, I, what, here's what happened to me. Uh, you know, things are just not going good lately. All right? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, I uh, I do some two interviews with Lori Thompson, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, um, uh, 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 the other day we did two of them. Yeah. And one of them I erased. Oh. So, and and you say, well, why don't you call her back and do another one? And the answer is she's now in Europe. So. Don't you, know. you uh, do a backup when you do a recording? N- not when I'm doing the, not when I'm doing the initial oh, no. recording, the initial no. recording. And when I yeah. did it, I st- had to stop it for some reason. I had to start over again. And there were two versions of the same thing. And I erased the the full one. Well, that's that's kind of nice. I'm a Lori fill-in. All right. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I uh, uh, that's that's my that's my way of doing things. You know, I'm lately I'm screwing up like crazy. I never used to screw up like this. I got to tell you, really never did. And you know, uh, it, it could be the heat. Uh, I know that my memory for the last few days, last few weeks, hasn't been all that good. Uh, and it, it could be the heat. It, it, could be uh, the the pain I have in my shoulder just never stops. But uh, you'll you're lucky. You know, I was just looking at Drudge, and it says that AI is going to write is on a, a, a new dawn, and it's going to write the news. So why don't you just tell AI to do a GapNet show? Probably, probably it'd probably be the best way for me to to uh, handle this. But yeah, I, I, you know, you'll replace me with AI. <laughs> I'll replace you with AI. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, uh, no, AI. But, give me a but, Republican well, that I uh, that that you know won't curse. <laughs> I'll tell you what's happening. I was really depressed after last night's show. Now people go, "Why?" It was a perfectly good show, and it was. Yeah. But I notice that when I'm doing the show, I I suddenly have lapses of memory for just words. I can't I can't remember the word I'm going for. Uh, and and that yeah. is bothering me. Well, uh, I, I think that's a normal part of aging. Although, are you playing that game? My friend Barry plays it. It's in the New York Times. I think it's called uh, it's Wordle. No, and there's no, another one called do. Sudoku. No, I do uh, crosswords. All right. Yeah. Well, th- those are the kinds of things that uh, help you strengthen uh, your memory and the, and the things that you're really? About. Yeah, but uh, just remember, you don't need fancy words with. Uh, yeah, but it's I, like I will go in. for a just go for a simple word that I want to fill out a, a sentence or something like that, and mm-hmm. I can't come up with it like I used to. You know, oh. uh, the other thing I'll tell you, you know, another thing I noticed about getting old uh, today, yeah. I had to for my lawyer. Because, you know, it never stops with the owners of this apartment house, you know. Wow. Uh, well, they misfiled the rental on this apartment to what's called the DHCR, which is the Department of uh, Housing and something and something. Yeah. And you're supposed to, every year, you're supposed to report how much uh, you are uh, charging for a particular uh, apartment, you know, p- particular thing. Yeah. But I uh, guess register the... Uh, register the, the apartment, apartment. right. 
and they had the registration at twenty two hundred and fifty dollars two hundred and twenty five dollars two hundred two hundred two thousand two hundred and twenty five dollars okay and uh, that's not right it should be five hundred dollars and seven cents so now it's going to cost you ten thousand it's going to cost me ten thousand dollars to get my lawyer to get this thing changed and to challenge their idea of what yeah they're misfiling uh can you get fees uh when something like that happens no we can't no uh, you know, I mean, but I mean, it, I know it's going to be a constant battle. Yeah. You know, and I'm just going to have to be ready for it, you know. So today I had to, I had to send this thing to my lawyer, fill it out, and then have it notarized uh, so that he could act on my behalf. Right. All right. You now, didn't have to be now, there. Now, why he didn't, in the beginning of this whole process, ask for a power of attorney uh, is beyond me, but he didn't, so... Well, he can charge for it now. Yeah, he can charge for it now. <laughs> yeah, and um, uh, but anyway, um, so and this it, it, it's going a long way to get to what I'm getting to. Uh, yeah. I had to uh, sign my name. Yeah, I've you gotten, signed it, Alex Bennett. <laughs> I have no, I have no signature left. Really? Oh, is it getting smaller? No, it's getting. S- just I go Bennett and I get most of the Bennett out I can get that in, cur- in cursive okay yeah. and then when I get to the Schwarzman it's SCH and I and I've actually gone down onto a piece of paper and said okay I'm gonna I'm gonna write my name on this piece of paper and I will uh, uh, you try it many times until I get the Schwarzman right, and I never can get it right. My hand just won't do it anymore. Now I don't know if that's because it, I'm it old and, weaker. and my hand uh, is getting weaker, or yeah. or I just haven't had to sign my name very often. Okay, well, I have to sign my name too much because I it has to go on every check mm-hmm. uh, that that gets written, and every day they present me with three, four, 10, 14 checks. And so what I did was I got a rubber stamp, uh, self Yeah, but I can't stamp. do that. See, I can't, uh-huh. I couldn't do that on this because it had to be signed by a notary and I had to yeah. have oh, my real right, signature right. on there. It was, if I did a stamp, it wouldn't work. I suppose I can go to X. I guess I can go to X as my signature. But yeah. I mean, I just don't have the ability to write my entire signature anymore, and Why I and I don't know if that's because I just don't really sign my whole signature very often. Yeah. Okay. Or it's because my hand has slight arthritis in this hand and it makes it difficult. But in any event, I can't sign my name anymore. Uh, you know, it, it, this is this is something that happens uh, with age. Talking about age, I just saw here that Fleetwood Mac could reunite uh, for one last reunion. Yeah, but how many of them are dead? I know. You think they'll remember the words? Well, <laughs> Christine McVie is dead. Yeah. And uh, and um, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, the the leader. The leader of the group. Or the leader of the yeah, group. Yeah, I, I forget. Uh, but uh, they're going to reunite with Buckingham uh, for one last reunion. But, I mean, are uh, they going to have uh, what's her name? Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, I can't even remember that, folks. You know, <laughs> I don't either. It's time for me. It's time for me to quit. Okay. They're all gonna. They're all gonna come on stage with their. Uh, what are those things? W- that walkers. They walk? walkers. Yeah, with their walkers. <laughs> Funny, I can remember that word. Yeah. Uh, well, but they. That's because they, you yell, "Get me my walker." <laughs> yeah. And then I went down to walk down to get it uh, notarized at the. Uh, at the UPS store, and they said the the person who does the notarizing's out to lunch. Yeah. So I had to walk around the neighborhood for like a half hour, uh, and then come back, and they they did it for me. But yeah. you know, I mean, you, and, you and but I had a hard time walking down there because I was lightheaded. Because when I first get up, and then I've still got this pill in me at full, fairly full force. Uh, I, I have a wobbly feeling and everything. But then I get, went down the street and I started walking and I, I walked a mile today. So. Do you take your blood pressure when you get up? 
because sometimes when uh, your blood pressure changes as you you know uh, you've been uh, asleep for eight hours yeah and you you get up you might feel lightheaded uh, and no I feel lightheaded I think a lot because I have uh, um, what is it uh, the uh, uh, see there I go okay. <laughs> that's okay there you're allowed no uh, I I have uh, positional vertigo uh, yeah, uh, and if I'm lying down for a while and I get up fast, I'm lightheaded. I'm I am, yeah. I'm a little stumbly, you know. Yeah, and uh, then you know I take that pill. You know, I'd like to take stop taking all those pills. You know, you know I I uh, since I've been doing uh, the intermittent fasting and the exercise and plating my meals, uh, my sugar, uh, you know, it's it's not perfect, but it was six point two A one C, which is you know, the doctor wrote me today and says, your diabetes is under control. Good job. And uh, I asked for another test called a C-peptide test, which uh, determines how much uh, insulin uh, you're producing. And I'm in, an, I'm in a good range, and I'm producing insulin. Yeah, but have, so you, have you cut down, on, are you basically on a low-carbohydrate diet? Uh, yeah, except yeah. Uh, tonight when I was out to dinner and uh, I had bread pudding and ice cream. <laughs> but, uh, well, forget that then. Yeah. Uh, well, at least at least for tonight. I just am eating anything I want to eat now because for some reason I just don't gain weight. I'm not losing weight, but I'm get, not gaining weight. So, well, that's good. You know, it all sucks. You know, it all sucks. So, I mean, so, you know, I often said when it got to the point that I could no longer do this with any efficiency, you mm -hmm. know, that's when I'd stop. And I'm beginning to feel I can't do this with any efficiency anymore. I mean, I lose a whole 25-minute uh, interview with, uh, with uh, Lori, Lori, which I feel bad about, not for me, but for her, because it was very good, yeah. you know. And um, uh, then uh, I, uh, uh, you know, then this whole thing of just like doing the show and then trying to remember a word that I'm trying to say, and it's a simple word and I can't remember it. You know, you know, you're you're amongst friends here, and nobody's going to pay you any less than they're paying you now. Yeah, but what I'm saying <laughs> is, I, I I'd like to get people to listen to it. I'd like to be entertaining. Sure, you know. and you are. Do, do you think that your uh, cognitive abilities would increase if you didn't do this? No, or oh no, they probably get or, worse. Or the, yeah, they probably decline. Yeah. So you know, for uh, yeah, as but much you know, I don't want people to feel that they're calling me because they want to help me with my therapy. You know, they need therapy too. There isn't one person that calls this show, including me, that doesn't need the therapy. Well, you. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, and and maybe Tony. <laughs> yeah, really. Hey, you know the guy that I kind of like for the Republican uh, nomination? Yeah, which uh, jerk Vivek, is this? Vivek Ravashami. Who? He's, he's, in, he's in second place now. And, uh, you know, if... Uh, Who says I, he's I, in second place? Um, let's see. I just... Uh, What's his name? I don't even know how to spell it. Vivek. Ravashami. And, Vivek uh, he, Ravashami. Uh, yeah, he's a businessman. Uh, let's see. Well, we don't need another one of those. Yeah, well, actually, he's a pretty smart guy. Uh, he's 37 years old, and he's the uh, first millennial that's, uh, uh, it says, poll. Ramashami surges into second place in Republican race. Uh, it doesn't say who did the poll. I didn't click on it. I just uh, printed out the... Um, here, Vivek Rabashami polls. Um, I don't want his site because they're going to lie. Okay. He's actually a pretty good guy, and uh, and trying to uh, be in a, in, a, in a higher place. And I don't think he's going to uh, get into spats with uh, Trump. You know, it's. But if he's in second place now, that may mean that he'll be on the uh, debate stage. Even though Trump no, probably no, that has nothing to do with it. No, well, I thought it was you had to be polling. No, uh, no, it's how so, much money you have raised. Well, he could write the check. Hmm? Uh, no, I'm saying it's a matter of how much money you've raised. That's whether you get on that debate stage. Really? Yes. 
but you buy your place up there. Basic. Well, your pup, your followers buy it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's. It says he's closing in on DeSantis, so he's not number two. Uh, oh well, this uh, this thing says he was. Oh, he surged into second place in the Republican race. But that's uh, according to what poll? I don't know. This was on Drudge, and I, you know, I just printed out uh, the Drudge uh, headlines. I didn't uh, bother uh, reading them. Reading. Them. <laughs> you gave me about fifteen minutes to to get ready. Let me see here. <laughs> this, Drudge. this is the fifteen minute prep. But uh, oh, that's that's fifteen minutes more than mine. <laughs> yeah, but you're you're you've been doing it for sixty five years, and uh, you don't have to prep. Let me see uh, here. Uh, Paul uh, Biden easily wins over Trump in yeah uh, forty seven forty yeah a difficult path for a third party ba -ba 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 -ba. Republicans uh, now think Donald is boring I I would agree with that yeah I'm I'm to that and scrambles to make first debate DeSantis urges probe of Bud Light God damn it you know he is an idiot. He's a moron. I talked to I talked to Lori, and she says yeah. in Florida they don't even like him anymore. You know where where they where he used to kind of have a fairly decent following oh, in he, Florida. He they it hate the last him. election. Hmm? He killed it in the last. He, election. That's the last election. But since then he's done the Disney thing. He's done a whole bunch of stuff, and it's uh, he's become very unpopular. Well, you know, uh, I know where you, I know where you're what, getting. What is this I know where Disney? you're getting all your items from. Yeah, Here, you, here's you know, a Fleetwood Mac on. Uh, yeah, right. Right, right. I told you I had 15 minutes. AI <laughs> to write the news. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, at least you you can join in. If it's a uh, headline, it's it's a topic for Phil. Now, did did I hear that Disney was being bought by um, Apple? No. There is a rumor that they would merge, but that's just a rumor, you know. There's no substance to that particularly, uh, yeah. you know. But uh, it, no, uh, it, it would be a it would be a merging of one sort or another. Uh, yeah. But uh, you know, I I I don't know. I don't know if they, that would happen. You know. Yeah, it might be uh, antitrust kind of thing, or, or you know, entertainment getting too large. Yeah, that too. You know, yeah. The government's uh, not that that happy when two giant companies, companies merge. Together. You know. Well, uh, I was uh, uh, at dinner tonight, and they had a TV above the bar, mm -hmm. and the news headline in San Francisco. So you were drinking your dinner, were you? Uh, no, actually, I had water. <laughs> I had uh, I had sashimi. Omakase, which is like seven different sashimis, the chef's choice, uh, and I had uh, really good dessert, and I had a beet beet salad. Mm -hmm. uh, the beet salad's delicious. Now you're not one of those people who takes a picture of your food and then puts it on Facebook, are you? No, no. no. Okay, good. No. Uh, I rarely post anything on Facebook. Uh, you know, pe people sometimes look at that, and I don't want them to think that I'm a nut. <laughs> Although I've got a lot of Trump stuff, uh, actually it's all positive Trump stuff, mostly uh, to do with uh, the charity that I'm involved with. It says here, but Crowder sent photos of genitals. Who's Crowder? He, 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 who, who is he? Uh, oh, uh, Stephen Crowder is a guy that uh, goes to college campuses, sets up a table, videotapes the conversation, and says, Try, "Convince me." Maybe it would be an example is. He'll support the Second Amendment, and hmm. somebody else doesn't, and so they'll sit down and have a discussion, or they'll talk about abortion and and, and things like that. And he does it on college campuses. He's actually an interesting guy, Stephen Crowder. Yeah. And did you notice this other headline? This is a fun one. Uh, which one? Kevin that? Spacey must be hiring terrible lawyers. Oh yeah, lawyers. yeah. I did Spacey's notice Spacey's lawyer. It's not a crime to have sex if you're famous. Uh. Well, well, it, it 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 isn't a crime ever to have sex, okay? And unless it's an underage boy, <laughs> unless unless you're breaking a law somehow, you know, mm -hmm. and unless it's forcible rape, I'd say then it doesn't matter how famous you are. Yeah, you know. I, I like this one. Uh, why do neo Nazis keep getting arrested for child sex material? You ever wonder? 
<laughs> you know? I don't know. I have no idea. But, and and well, this we're, one's we're sitting one. here reading drudge to everybody, aren't we? Well, you know, hey, it, it, it works. Uh, Drug-addicted cocaine sharks are gobbling bales of narcotics that are j uh, dumped off the coast, most likely Florida. Who are who, whales? No, uh, sharks. Sharks. So you remember Sharknado? Yeah. Uh, now these guys are are getting uh, uh, coked up, and uh, you know they'll they'll start coming ashore and uh, looking for hundred dollar bills so they can snort. Well, it says here that Gwyneth Paltrow is dominating the California pot market. Yeah, you know, there's, there's. Uh, does she call her marijuana that she sells goop? <laughs> uh, there, uh, who is the guy? Uh, it's, it's not Sylvester Stallone. Who's, who's the boxer uh, that went to jail uh, and was a, a, a prolific boxer? Um, um, Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. He has uh, made. Oh a yeah, he ha oh yeah, he has a marijuana company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, who's his partner? Um, do you remember? I don't know who his partner is, no, but I know um, that he's done very well at it. Yeah, his partner might be Snoop Dogg. I'm not sure. Mm, uh, I don't think so. I think Snoop Dogg has his own stuff going. Has his own thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a Snoop Dogg uh, munchy meal at Jack in the Box now. No. Yes. Yes. No. I heard. No. I saw the commercial. No. It's a Snoop Dogg munchy meal. It's, you know, so in the middle of the night when you right, wait a minute, I don't believe this. I would Let me see. Gwyneth Paltro. Snoop Dogg munchy meal. In a box, munchy meal. Meal. Let me see here. Wait a minute. Oh, I it didn't type. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, Snoop Dogg. Dog. I think there's two G's in Snoop Dogg. Oh, two G's. Okay. Yeah. It said I spelled it wrong. Uh, Snoop Dogg. Uh, what is it called again? The Munchy Meal? Uh, the Munchy meal? meal at Jack in the Box. Yeah, here's the Munchy Meal at Jack in the... In, they, they do have a Snoop Dogg Munchy Box. It can. It's a spicy sauce and loaded chicken sandwich. Yeah. A classic taco... Medium curly fries. Okay, this is getting yeah. to take care of the munchies pretty good. Then a baked brownie and a beverage of the customer's choice. Wow. The Snoop Dogg uh, Munchie Meal. With that? I don't yeah. know, but whoever yeah. did it at, at Jack in the Box is actually a genius. Yeah, I think so. Okay, because and he, and he should get a raise. Well, can you imagine that in this day and age yeah. that you could have this kind of stuff? Do you, you, do you remember back in the '60s, yeah. or uh, if you know, if you smoked a joint, uh, you were looking at uh, eight years in Attica, mm -hmm. yeah. and now they've got munchy meals with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know that's uh, pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. Well, things that aren't so good. Mm -hmm. I uh, was watching uh, also the same TV at dinner. It was just uh, behind the bar, and I was at a high top table with mm -hmm. Faye. Yeah. And the um, there's this guy gets on, and he says uh, he owns a sandwich shop in the Haight Ashbury, and he somebody was peeing on his garbage cans. So he went out there and said something, and the homeless guy hit him, uh, gave him a black eye, mm -hmm. a, a cut on his head, yeah. and. Uh, then ran off, so uh, you know he's he's all pissed off that uh, that you know they're not going to do anything to this guy, uh, and that you know here he is in business. They're letting people pee on his garbage cans, and uh, well, you know here's the problem. Here's the problem that they have, and you have to sympathize with this, is that uh, these cities uh, don't have a lot of money, all right, and if they go out and they prosecute every diddly crime like that which admittedly i mean it's terrible that the assault yeah it's assault but if they charge somebody with that crime then yeah. they've got to go to court with them and if they got to yeah. go through a whole thing you know it's cheaper to not prosecute low-level crimes these days that's well, why up at my right aid 
uh, all the uh, all the stuff is locked up now because everybody was going in there and stealing it, and the city wasn't doing anything about uh, going after the people who were stealing it. They showed pictures of a Walgreens with chains across the uh, chains and locks across the well, glass. They have the glass, glass, you know, the plastic uh, casing. And you have yeah. to call somebody to come and open it up for you if you want something. Before COVID, you couldn't get anybody to help you. How are you going to do it now? Exactly. exactly. That's why these stores so, are closing. So, you know, you have to have sympathy for these cities who don't go and prosecute because by, by, uh, by prosecuting, they're costing the city a ton of money. So, yeah. you know. I got one more good headline for you before you let everybody in. Well, I'm not, uh, I'm not, who was, says uh, I'm letting anybody in? Oh, well, there was a tornado, uh, and it hit the Pfizer plant. Does that mean that nobody's going to get Viagra anymore? Well, they might not get any, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, COVID uh, oh, that's right. medicine. That's right. Yeah. Well, COVID's over. Uh, does, but, Pfizer, does Pfizer do a hard-on pill? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's... Uh, does Pfizer... Is, isn't that... Viagra? Uh, Viagra, yeah. Might be, yeah, yeah. Hey Siri, who makes Viagra? Mm. Uh, Pfizer. Pfizer, okay. Uh, filed yes. a patent covering the use of sedentafil. Well, so you you see Alice, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. I see Alice. Do you see Alice? Yeah. Oh, uh, you were talking also last night about um, Broadway and the porno shops. Mm -hmm. Do you remember I took you uh, and we had dinner at Enrico's and my friend Duke Skinner, who owned mm -hmm. Tiffany's Massage Parlor, mm -hmm. and one dollar talked to a new yeah. girl. Yeah. Uh, you know, we had dinner with him. Mm -hmm. he, he was a good guy. Yeah, uh, he was a good guy. He was a decent loyal guy. customer. Uh, yeah? Yeah. What do you mean, loyal customer? I used to carpet all of those places. Well, you had to carpet them a lot. Yeah, and and also his one dollar talk to a nude girl. It's a good thing I never did the pull up. <laughs> you know, that was one of those things. It had a stage that went in a circle, and you put a Susan B. Anthony mm -hmm. dollar a coin mm -hmm. in a box, and the window uh, would would mm -hmm. go up. It, it wouldn't open up. It would just allow you to see in, and uh, uh, that 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 was the uh, uh, the big the big deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But and that was right next to the condor on on Columbus. So what what kind of rugs did you put in for him? I mean, what, uh, uh well, at the massage parlor, mm -hmm. uh Tiffany's which was actually used in the movie Hardcore with mm -hmm. George C. Scott. Yeah. Uh uh the the lobby and the stairs front and back had to be mm -hmm. carpeted all the time. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, massage rooms uh we would carpet. Mm -hmm. Uh and, you know, yeah, and and you'd have to carpet them about once every five weeks, right? Because they get uh, all they just, get all sticky. You, well, uh, your feet would stick to the about. floors. Or, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think you'd want to put rugs in there. Yeah, you know, I had a. It was funny. It's a great story. I when I was doing Midnight Blue, we had an office uh, in the screw offices, mm -hmm. and uh, somebody said, "Hey, do you, I got a whole bunch of carpet." that I'm getting rid of from this apartment that I have. Would you like the carpet? And it was a red plush carpeting. So I said, yeah, sure, why not? And they said, well, you know where this is from? This is from right. Xavier Hollander's former brothel. Really? Yeah, so literally the rug we had at Midnight Blue came from uh, the Happy Hookers whorehouse. <laughs> Yeah, they like red. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but and why did they pull it up? I don't. You know? because, I guess because she moved out and they moved in. You know. Oh, and they wanted. And who wants and a red. horrible red shag rug? It was a horrible rug. It was terrible. But yeah, you know, oh. we we needed carpeting, so we had carpeting, kind of. Very nice. Although our feet stuck to it a lot. You know. <laughs> you didn't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You know. Uh, hey, what's this one? Four women in chaotic brawl fighting over the same married man. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. Uh, Don't you hate yeah. when that happens? Oh, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. Oh. Never happens to me. Yeah. 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 I never but, had. I never had two women fight over me either. No, uh, you had one stalking you though. Um, well, she stalking's not a big. It, stalking's not unusual, but to have two women fighting over you. 
that's yeah. a, that'd be that'd be kind of get, that'd help the ego. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But uh, oh yeah, here's that poll. Uh, oh, sixteen percent would consider Mansion. And who's Heard? Charlie Heard? No, that's or, Amber Heard. Oh, oh, Amber Heard. Oh, that's the <laughs> one that married uh, that was married and sued by uh, what's her name? Hey, that was quick. I mean, I, I'm sure that's not the same same one. But no, but I, I, I just quick. thought it was a funny joke. I mean, you it said heard, and I said Amber heard, and yeah. that was hilarious. Yeah, you anyway. you pulled that one out. You know, I mean. Uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, uh, let's see, Pence yeah. is scrambling to make the first debate. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's because Pence doesn't probably have uh, the money. Uh, yeah. That's that's what it is. He has to have. A certain amount of money in order to do this, you know. Yeah, but so. you would think that it wouldn't be based on money; that it would be based on uh, on on uh, popular, not popularity, but uh, on the votes. You know. No, uh, it's not on the votes. It's on. on I, 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 know, much, that's, I know. That's. I know. How much money you, you have? Uh, you have to have a have a certain like fifty. Fifty mil? No, not fifty million. Yeah. Maybe it's, some people only had like five million. Yeah, uh, something like I don't know, twenty million or something. You have to have uh, twenty million dollars. Uh, and anybody uh, know who? Gal anybody know? Nobody here's a Republican, so they don't know. Um, <laughs> um, I think that uh, Trump has raised a lot of money. It was like thirty-five million, but yeah, but uh, you know, you know how much somebody else raised more. Oh, Biden, Biden. has how much has Biden yeah. raised now? Close to fifty or fifty-five million or something. What? All of them put together. Yep. Yeah, so he's got a good he's got a good um, you know bankroll. Yeah, but most of it's going to go to those twenty. Uh, 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 what do they call those companies? That uh, shell companies where where he can distribute it amongst the other Bidens. <laughs> oh, I see. How's that different from Trump? Yeah, where do you learn that? Trump doesn't distribute it. I love how, I love how Trump is constantly saying, uh, uh, "Well, you know." Uh, I, I just can't stand the weaponization of the Justice or Department. On a Sunday. <laughs> and then I begin to look at his administration, and didn't he weaponize the uh, the Justice okay. Department? Sure. Huh? Okay. Bill Barr. Bill Barr. Uh, your uh, uh, Bill Barr doesn't like him. Alan, your Bill Barr does. Uh, audio is is a little high. It's real you hot. It. Yeah, yeah. You might have that button click that says uh, auto audio or something no no that's not it uh that that would uh, that would keep him level is this okay no that's good oh that's, that's better way. yeah but <laughs> when you first better. come on it builds up a whole bunch of uh he's sound going after bud light he's going after the butt light yeah but anyway all i'm saying is that he weaponized the doj there's no question yeah. about it how dare he complain yeah. about that but he, but he always he always complains about stuff he's guilty of yeah. Okay. It's like it's subconscious. <laughs> yeah. Right. We Republicans think that's what the Democrats do. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. I mean, maybe I believe that, yes, they are weaponizing the DOJ because he should know better than anybody on how you do it. You know. The good yeah. thing is this guy that uh, Phil brought up that he claims is in second place uh, is DeSantis. Hey, Robert Shami. Yeah, DeSantis is paying <laughs> off. Most he's of his workers, because he's running out of money already. Yeah. Yeah. The Sanders is running out of money, wrong. and Trump is uh, running out of lawyers. Uh, uh, you know, tr <laughs> Trump is, uh, uh, by this time next week, I think you'll probably hear about an indictment I hope so. in, in the January 6th thing. You and, know, the thing is, you'll never run out of lawyers. I mean, it, 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 they'll stop chasing ambulances for a couple of minutes just to work for Trump. You know? No, yeah, they but, won't, because Trump won't pay them. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, Trump yeah. has one very good constitutional lawyer he just brought on. But the question yeah. is how long he's going to stick around, because Trump isn't, he doesn't pay these people. Well, you know? uh, Dershowitz seems to be pro pro. Uh, well, against what's happening to Trump, he's not pro-Trump, but he's against. Dershowitz Trump. is a dirtbag. Yeah. Why is that? <laughs> he's a constitutional lawyer yeah, and no, a Democrat. No, I, what? No, he's not. Not anymore. 
Well, he never voted for Trump, and uh, he actually Lucky. says that he's not a Republican. Uh, he'd like to think he's not a Republican. Well, then he acts like one. Well, no, he's ta he he's a, talks from the Constitution. No, no he, he doesn't. Yeah, know. but he's not on Trump's legal team. No. Uh, but <laughs> He ain't stupid. He knows Trump won't pay him. And also, if you're on Trump's legal team, there's a chance you could wind up losing your uh, your legal license, yeah. you know, your law license. Uh, yeah, wh what's happening with Giuliani in that they did not send him a letter, a target letter? Uh, so they sent the target letter from Georgia to Trump, but there's yeah. no Because they're letter. not ready, yeah. if at all, to, uh, uh, to charge him with anything. Now, I don't if they I don't are, when, if and when they are ready to charge him for something, they will then send him one of those letters too. But that, that's not the case right now. They're dealing with Trump. Yes, uh, Tony. I was watching the news with my sister. We were watching the local news, and you mentioned Rudy. I forgot to tell this to Phil, but I'll tell you, Alex. He went to Massapequa Park to, to the the killer's house, and they stopped him from going closer. He rolled the window down. How investigation go? He was trying they to got the guy in custody. I mean, come on. Oh, He's trying you, to you know what I, do, you know what I don't <laughs> like about this whole thing with this uh, alleged uh, serial killer? Yeah. Uh, uh, is the way they're trying this case in the in the press and the way the district attorney hmm. is trying it in the press. I mean, he gets up and he goes, well, we caught the monster. Well, is you that know, the same uh, district attorney? The dime on the guy, it sounds is like. that the same district <clears throat> attorney that uh, Trump is dealing with? No, or, that, no. that, this is Massapequa. That's oh, uh, Suffolk County yeah. Police, though. That's yeah, different. but I mean, you don't you don't do that. In fact, in England, they're very spe specific about what you can and can't do. They if you get up and you say, "Look, we just caught the guy we think is the murderer or the killer." And his name is, and blah 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 blah, the and then that's the last thing you can hear. They say that's the last thing that's said about it because you're not supposed to try it in the press, and uh, we don't do that here. I mean, he, here the the district attorney gets up and he's already you know got the guy uh, you know in jail for the rest of his life, and you know we don't know. We haven't heard the whole case. Mm -hmm. Well, but, I think Tony did it. But I and I and I I, I, I feel sorry for the guy in this respect. God forbid the guy should not be it should be innocent and not guilty, and hit for the rest of his life he will have to live with people thinking he was. Look at the bomber that he the accused bomber at the Atlanta. Uh, yeah. um, uh, what, what was that? The well, well that was that was Rudolph uh, Eric Rudolph. No, 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 no. This the actual was a security guard. Oh, the security at, guard, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. at the Olympics. Do you know I was there two days before that bomb went off? I was in I that know. park. Why, why did you leave it uh, over by the stands? I couldn't. I, it, I wanted to leave it closer it to the stage, but. Yeah. <laughs> it was heavy. <laughs> you know me, I'm, a, I'm lazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you take care of it. What's that clicking sound? Richard Jewell, mm. I think, was his name. Yeah, but that, that yes, guy, uh, yeah, uh, that guy, his life was ruined. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Even after, even after, yeah. and it was because of that exact thing of them like going on TV and saying, "Well, here's what we have against the guy, and here's what we think he did," and blah blah blah, and it was all speculation, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, and we got to be careful about that. You know, we, yeah. we, we, it should be that once you catch the guy, you, the district attorney, you say, we caught, caught the guy we think is guilty of this, but we don't know, but yeah. we caught we the guy we suspect. No, not a person of interest. At that point, you've arrested oh. him. You're going to yeah. charge him. We're going to charge him, and we think that we've, we've caught our guy, but that's all we're going to say now. And then yeah. you don't, you don't and go. And they don't divulge the name or anything. And but they're already divulging information about what they might have on him and where he was his at a wife certain time. Filed for divorce. His wife this, filed this for divorce. Married. Yeah, Wednesday yeah. in Suffolk County, my aunt Barbara told me she's already filed for divorce. It doesn't look good. <laughs> so much for in sickness and in health. Exactly. You know? So much. I told my aunt Barbara, he's guilty. They said no, she's already filed she, for divorce. Wait a minute. She's trying to protect the assets. Yes, know? that's what I told my aunt Barbara. And, yeah. yeah. You remember the cop that put his knee on uh, George Floyd? His yeah. wife. Yeah, but you uh, see, wait a minute. Hold on a second. She shouldn't be, have to protect the uh, mm -hmm. assets, and here's why. 
Yeah, he's not he guilty did. of anything. Okay. He can do nothing, yeah. And so at this <laughs> point, she shouldn't have to defend the assets. She should defend the assets later on, yeah. but no, not now. because if he you're in a position to do divorce before you have to defend yeah. the assets, yeah, uh, imagine half of them are hers, and so yeah. and and her family. I, I think she has these a, these people were married. I think for twenty years or something. Twenty seven years. The neighbor next yeah. door on the news Alex said he used to look over the fence and peek at his wife sunbathing. Had his son. He called. He said he was creepy. They called him Herman Munster. I believe it. He looks like a nut. Listen, no, it, it doesn't matter what he looks like, you know. I mean, no, I it's mean, kind of like one day, one time they asked Alfred Hitchcock while all, why yeah. all the bad guys mm -hmm. in his movies were good looking. He said oh, because if he was really ugly and menacing, he wouldn't be able to get within 10 feet of his victim. Yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so when you say the guy looks blah, 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 you know, you know. He, he's six seven, like two eighty. He's big, really. Yeah, yeah. He's six seven. This guy, or six six. Yeah, he's a big. Because they were talking to the guy. He gave an interview like a year ago for some for his company, and he said, "What do you remember about him?" He says he was very detailed, and when he shook my hand, he said he had a super strong grip, like he was a very strong guy. He wasn't built, but he said he was. But he was unassuming, though. Like you know, he's very detailed oriented. Whatever. Nobody that's six seven is under unassuming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sitting, sitting no, out. Of, wait a minute, hold on a second. This is very nice. This is very nice. You know, Phil's sitting there with a phony background, and mine is a phony background, and and uh, 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 you know, uh, Kevin. Jeff Stein's got a phony inside. background. I get the reality. Jeff Stein. Uh, yeah. But Scott Boddicker yeah. is on his, is that on your porch? No. No, no, I'm sitting out front of the, uh, my favorite bar in Solon, Iowa. <laughs> oh, oh. He's in a beer garden. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a very bucolic kind of thing where you were sitting on your front porch. <laughs> No, 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 it's no, only no, Thursday, no. Scott, and there doesn't look like there's a lot of cars in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, this, this this is this is uh, Solon's Beef Days, and it's a carnival. is set up in Main Street here in Solon, Iowa. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Is this Iowa? It's I can't go too far because I'm on there. He's doing the Wi-Fi from yeah. the bar. Uh, yeah. I, I always thought they only had corn there. Yeah, it was always the corn. Yeah. Did we just lose him? I think I'm more corn yeah, corn. yeah. He he walked away he from the. Uh, from the uh, Wi-Fi signal. I'm in the basement. Mm, oh, well, he'll call back. You guys cannot believe that I live in Iowa City. Really? really? Wow. Oh, yeah. Do you live in Iowa City? I sure did. Did you leave your keys there? Why were you there? <laughs> <laughs> when we used to play cards on a Friday night yeah. during the winter, you bring your car in and you take the battery of, off of your car and bring it into the person's house. Oh, really? Oh, so you can start it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because it, it could be 30 degrees. Oh, when I lived in it's Minneapolis, cold. Minnesota, uh, I, I had a car out in front of the radio station, and I would have to go out and start it a half hour before I was going to get into it at the end of my show. I went during commercial break and started up the car. And the reason I started up the car was because it was so cold that uh, it would, even when I went out there after a half hour, it was still pretty cold inside mm -hmm. the car. In uh, 1972, I went and visited my cousin in Detroit and uh, mm -hmm. just outside of Detroit. And he would, he had an automatic thing to start his car while the doors were still locked. So he could remotely start his car. And there was also uh, something that they used to put on the engine block yeah. that they kept it from freezing. Mm. Uh, Blank, warmer blankets. Yeah, they have yeah. warmer blankets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, now they have block heaters. They plug right into uh -huh. the block. Well, yeah. they, right into the block? So the, the, yeah. the block is made so it can take that heater? It, it's a little device that plugs into the block and it keeps the water from freezing up. Wow, that's uh -huh. good. That's good. Uh, how's the weather where the everybody is today? How's everything out in Contra Costa, Phil? It's damn hot. 
uh, when I left the restaurant, my uh, uh, temperature indicator in the car said it was 108. But as I started driving away, it got down to about 98. And currently, uh, let's see if I uh, go to entertainment and then weather, 80, uh, 79 right now. What is it where you that's are, Alan? Um, 72. 72. Wow, that's pretty <clears throat> pretty nice. Right now here, yeah. it's um, hmm, 75, believe it or not. Oh. not it's not bad, you know. Is it raining? We yeah. still, oh, with the humidity. Awesome. Now there we are. There's Texas for you. Okay. Yeah. And, the, and he's number one. And it's nighttime <laughs> where you are now, right? Yeah. So it's ninety one at night. How how it's how was it? Ninety one degrees. Ninety one degrees. How hot did it get today? Mm. Hmm. Hundred three. It says. Hundred and three. <laughs> oh wow. A bu- yeah. uh, so it's not even breaking a hundred at night. Yeah. So about, are you starting to experience issues with electricity and and the? Uh, uh, yeah, the yeah. We've had you know, black, you know, what you call brownouts or whatever, all over the place. We were, yeah. we were setting records for electrical use. Yeah. That, yeah. that wouldn't be a problem if your uh, asshole of a governor <laughs> yeah. didn't make that deal to not have to go in with everybody else on. Uh, on the national grid, See, they're off the national grid, and uh, yeah. it's a real problem. Uh, hello, Brian Neary. How? Uh, what's the temperature where you are right now? Eighty-six. Eighty-six. Oh wow. Uh, uh, Jeff, how about you? Right now, seventy. And it's seventy right. degrees. What? It was where, nice. Pam and I took a walk out. The seventy right. degrees where you are, Scott? Yes, sir. Boy, that's some it's nice, beautiful. That's some beautiful. It's beautiful. What? Some nice evening temperatures right now. Oh, you know. no. Not 86. But you know what the problem with New York is? 830. What the problem with New York is, I'd have to have this uh, air conditioning on even if it was uh, even if it was like 70 degrees because mm-hmm. the humidity mm-hmm. is just god awful. Yeah. yeah I can't stand it. Hmm? Uh, what was that song? Hot <laughs> Town, Somewhere in the City, Back of My Neck. Get get sick with it. Yeah. Was that the truck? Humidity gives me a headache. No, no, it was Love uh, and Spoonful. Love and Spoonful, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What happened to you, Tony? You froze up now. He froze. So he Where is Tony calling from? Hmm? Uh, he's in his bathroom or uh, laundry <laughs> room. <laughs> <laughs> it's the not that humidity just, it just bothers me. I get, I get a headache. Yeah, but, we, oh, there we go. Now we have. Yeah, I'm in the basement. Yeah. Look, I got my video here. Your video. Oh, you know, Tony, that's only fair. You give everybody else headaches. Why don't you? I can play you know, Pac-Man. Hold on, I'll play Pac-Man. Let me play. No, don't play Pac-Man. Sure, I got, I'm in the top fifty right now. I will. Yeah, but it'll get him thrown off uh, his funding. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Is, is totally but I mean, the, the, uh, uh, what, did, what did I see? The the heat last month on the planet was the hottest it's been in history. That's fake news. And Alan's going to have a stroke <laughs> if you don't call on him. What? Yes, <laughs> Alan. Oh, Alan's going to have a stroke. <clears throat> so it, it so it's 15 degrees warmer 12 miles away from me, according to Brian. But I yeah. just looked at the weather.com, and they say it's 73 in San Jose. So. Well, yeah, he's in the valley. I'm in valley. Oh, okay. the valley's always about five or ten degrees hotter because this valley keeps all the. All right. Yeah. I'm just checking to make sure you're okay. Yeah. A heat infarction. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, this whole notion that people have that oh, there's no such thing as uh, as a as a weather problem in this world. No. Are nuts. It, it's just not true. Uh, we, yeah. Hmm. No, it's, it's not. Cyclical. It's not. You look at the rings on trees. Yeah. Phil, yeah. it's not cyclical. Yeah. This is goes when you say inside. that this is the hottest it's been on this planet in history. Yeah, 120,000 okay. years. In in so 100 Chinese, in 120,000 years it has never been this hot. I don't well, know. Uh, the Chinese are polluting at twice the level. That's of, not what we're talking about here. I know, Phil, but doesn't you're matter saying who, that it doesn't matter who's polluting the more pollution. who's who's polluting It's all the Chinese. Chinese. Yeah, it's not, it's, 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 it doesn't matter who is uh, who is doing 
well, what, where, how. Are you kidding me? The fact is that over the entire planet, we are facing a very definitely a, a climate crisis. There well, is no question. Isn't this country doing as much as they can to alleviate the We are doing pollution. something, but we haven't gone we haven't gone nearly as far as we should go to try and take okay. care of it. Okay. So you look at India, you look forget at Forget about India, forget about China, forget about all of them, Phil. We have to look Why? at ourselves because we only have control over ourselves. I understand. So if we don't pollute and China is polluting at a, at a rate that's astronomical. What, what are we? Phil, what are we do? let's say China is polluting at an astronomical level. Let's agree yes, with you. Are. I'll agree with you. It's oh, terrible. Yeah, it's yes. terrible there. Okay, the yeah. fact that we still pollute adds to that. Well, there's got to be a balance. It adds to that. There's no balance, no. Phil. Hey, we've got know, to we've got to go down to zero emissions. And we. Hey, I wake up in the morning. I pollute. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got we got to go to zero emissions is what we That's have to do, Phil. Up. But I mean to say yeah, that China if, if China's to... worse than us. Yes, they are. But that doesn't okay. make mean that we shouldn't be good. Yes, Brian. And, Brian. But but China is very much ahead of us in the EV market too, and the batteries that they're starting to generate and all this stuff too. Yeah, the way to come. Oh, so they, they just they just the most popular control. the most popular electrical vehicle in the world, which we don't have in this country right now is the Chinese electric vehicle. Well, now the Chinese cool, are producing the solar panels, they're producing the batteries, they have all the rare earths uh, pretty much sewn up that produces the batteries. What's going to happen to all of these batteries when they've reached their useful life? Where are we going to where are we going to bury them? Uh, well, like like Elon Musk said, we are they're recycling them. These batteries. Well, I think the future is hydrogen. Indefinitely, indefinitely. Well, you're wrong, but uh, like usual. But well, Toyota. These, these batteries are are can constantly be recycled. Well, Toyota feels also that the future is hydrogen, and that's true zero emissions. There's a company uh, that's not public yet or uh, fully manufacturing that makes these discs. They they look like DVDs, and mm -hmm. you can insert them. And they're, uh, they, they will charge the hydrogen uh, to, to make electricity for the car. And uh, we're not that far away from that starting to be a reality. And when that happens, where you can buy a disc, insert it the way you do uh, a, a DVD for a song, mm -hmm. and charge your hydrogen vehicle, that, that's the future. Are you okay, Phil? I mean, your, your brain's a little bit wacko tonight. No, no, I think Phil's right. Do you? Well, you would. Yeah, You're from Iowa. Well, well let's get you. Let's hear. Let's hear from Charles. Uh, I think it's a very hold, hold. good viable option. Yes. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. it's one of the options we should one look at, and yeah, we should we develop. Should not, from a, not from a disc. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what this disc thing is, but yeah, yeah, it's it's a hydrogen. Neither, is a neither, good neither, neither, it, it, I, I got news for you, Scott. Neither does Phil. He's just saying it because he's heard it. Is a good deal. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, Charlie. Charlie. But hydrogen. Hydrogen, yeah, that's a valid uh, yeah. power source, but I don't I've never heard about this disc that he's talking about. It's it's, it's new. It's, it, it, it's new, it's not out there. If I could find the interview again that the company uh, that it's that's making this uh, mm -hmm. and working on these discs, it, it was it was amazing what they were doing. Suppose but, you suppose you put the wrong disc in and it plays Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> well, they're getting back together again for one last tour. <laughs> Aren't they dead? <laughs> yes, yes, most no. of them are. No, Alex no, and I were no, trying no, to no, think no. about who the dead ones were, and we couldn't Christy remember. Christy McVie and the, the guy, yeah. uh, what's his name? That's recent. Uh, oh, and the uh, Mick Fleetwood. Mick Fleetwood. Is yeah. Dead. Yeah. yeah. So how do you have as the long, two people who the group, wait a minute, how do you have the two people, how do you have the two people who the group is named after who are dead? How can you bring the group back? <laughs> no, Mick Fleetwood still alive. No, I don't think Mick Fleetwood. Huh? No, I think that's Bait this guy and Stevie McVie. Those are the only two dead. Uh, Lindsey Buckingham, Stevie Nicks, and Mick Fleetwood. I Mick think Fleetwood's are still, alive. still alive? Wait a minute, hold yeah, on a second. A, Echo? Bar, we'll go to the, be, the best source. I mean, Hawaii. Echo? Is Mick Fleetwood still alive? 
Oh. He's still alive. He's 76 years old. 76 years old. Okay, I'm Dunster. wrong. Yeah. How old is he? What? 76. 76. Uh, 76. 76 is it, yeah. 76? Wow. Well, he might as well be dead. Yeah. I know right. you have a hydrogen car, Phil. You think they're going to have walk uh, parking for your walkers out, out at, the, uh, at the venue for uh, Fleetwood Max uh, tour? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Get out of my way! <laughs> yeah, well, I remember when uh, I had a joke once where uh, it was uh, uh, Rolling Stones had an album out called Steel Wheels, right. and I said at their age, the next album is going to be Steel Walkers. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, but I mean, what? When did the whole global warming start? Was that all Al Gore? I remember that as a kid. No, uh, he just started the web. No, no. Uh, Al, Al Gore, Al Gore. A global warming. Well, Al Gore did some very good documentaries about global warming. Yeah. That really, really made a lot of sense, you know. Uh, and he, for years, was a big proponent of cleaning up the air and not messing up our planet. And I got to tell you, this planet is going towards a point, and they say maybe within the next 10 years that if we don't turn this thing around there's going to be no turning it around right you know and we better go to mars and we better go to the moon and we better go to a lot of other places because this place is going to be uninhabitable mm -hmm. in another hundred years that's why they had those mole people movies well wait know? a minute it's uninhabitable now Okay, yeah, let's be uh, honest about it. Yeah, I mean, if you, Trump if, could be president again and really screw stuff up. They have, in Phoenix, had mm -hmm. temperatures over 110 mm -hmm. degrees for what, the last month or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's the longest Phoenix, period. Yeah. I, uh, I, there was something on uh, Drudge. Fire crews are battling 119 degree <laughs> heat. Yep. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, well, I don't think Mars, is, Mars isn't cool. Mars is going to be hotter than here. Uh, uh, oh, gonna my, uh, it, well, Mars. <laughs> and it's windy. It, but you wear one of those space suits and they're all cooled. Okay. Well, so. we can start. <laughs> you know. You know what you got to do? You got to design I skinny jeans. jeans were cool. <laughs> well, you know, we're, we're, we have plans to, uh, to, to, make it so <laughs> to create a, to create a, a full and via, via, viable um, atmosphere mm -hmm. on Mars. Uh, by uh, terraforming yep. and um, it's all very possible and it's amazing that we'll take a dead planet and try and bring it back to life <laughs> while we're sitting here killing our own yeah we're yeah. taking a live planet and killing it yeah 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 and we were talking the other day Char charlie and, <laughs> charlie and i were talking here the other day about the reason why mars their their um uh what atmosphere died pretty much on the planet was because what it was the core of the planet that went bad or something like that uh, yeah Charlie? the uh, planet cooled off it doesn't have uh, the uh, plate te tectonics like the earth does yeah you know, which is but it's not as close to the sun as the earth yeah right no. so therefore it doesn't have the the gravity and the draw that but it's smaller yeah. that's what did yeah. it it's 144 it's, earth, it, it would, at its average, it's 144 million miles from the sun. The yeah, Earth is 93 Mars. million. Mercury is 74 million. No, Mercury is 36 million. Is it 36? No, wait a minute. Oh, Mercury is 36 million, it's but I'm close. talking about Venus is Venus 75, is I think. Something like that. Yeah. And what are we, 93? 93. We're 93 million miles. Yeah. So the, so the so, people. So, so, wait a minute. Oh, let, let, let Brian talk. So who's going to Mars? I am. I'm not going to Mars. I'd be going in a second. I'm afraid going to run. What are you going to do there? You can't. What are you going to do with Mars? What am I going to do golf. here? Like There's nothing to do. Is... We shouldn't be spending one penny on this crap. Now you're wrong about that. You're right. Charlie. You one penny on this crap. Charlie, shall we beat up on him? <laughs> it costs a lot less. I kind of agree with him. It costs a lot less. To reverse all of this global warming shit that we're yeah, doing. Yeah, but we're not going to no, do. No, no, no. You know how we do the. You know how we reverse the global warming. We have another pandemic. When we had the pandemic, the yeah. sky cleared up in India and China, and everybody yeah. was home and didn't do crap, and there's no pollution at all. We need yeah. another COVID. Yeah, but the Jews and the Chinese didn't die. From yeah, COVID. but my question to you, Brian, is: 
look at us. Do you think we're really going to do that? No. <laughs> you know, we're not going to do that, Brian. Uh, so we may as well go to Mars and try and bring that planet to life. And it will also, you know, this planet uh, is, is starting to get filled up with people. If you can move a lot of them to Mars, uh, you can put the, the uh, you can lower the amount of, uh, of population here on Earth and uh, be able to use the resources we do have without moving polluting. them to Texas. Grateful no. Dead's not going to Mars, so how are you going to see them alive? Oh, uh, did you hear you can't that? Can't comic weird... books in Mars. There's no carpet in Mars. Yeah. Uh, the, we're uh, the de what? What's the Dead and Company? Uh, they're they're disbanding. Uh, the Grateful Dead, uh, the guys that are left from the Grateful What's Dead. What's got to do with Mars? Uh, we were just talking about. There's no Grateful Dead on Mars, and well, there won't be. Mars. There won't be because they're going to be dead by the time uh, Mar we ever have any meaningful life mm. on Mars. Well, why don't give, why don't give Listen, Mars. I, I, uh, I wish I were a kid again. I'd be the first one volunteering to go to uh, go to Mars. Scott Is raised there going to be alcohol hand. in Mars? Hmm. Scott Can raised the hand. in Mars. Will be uh, alcohol on Mars? I'm oh, sure. Yeah. I hope so. I'm sure. I don't drink, but I may have one if I get me up on that rocket. And don't worry, don't rocket. worry. They'll eventually have football on Mars, and boy, that ball can <laughs> really go further. <laughs> the drink market. is green. You think Canadian football? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, Alan. Um, so uh, the, the <laughs> Pfizer plant, the FDA just made an announcement. They expect a shortage of several of the. Uh, diabetes injectable drugs that were made there. The, they even make them for other smaller companies. Mm -hmm. So you might look and see who you're, I don't know who's on the on the diabetes injection. Um, I'm cutting out all my diabetes drugs. Oh, good, good. That's great. Good, good. because they're all not the available great. because all these people who want to lose weight are using them. Are using them. Yeah, I know. They're the ones. Ozempic. Yeah. And uh, yep, you know, yep. Govi. Yeah. Are they going to have diabetes in Mars? Oh, I'm well, sure. You, 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 you your medication. Uh, little green you get your medication in Mars. You know, Scott, I think, is medicine. doing somersaults out there. As didn't get a year. You yeah. don't. You don't know that on Mars they might be able not be able to develop even better drugs because yeah. they have different kinds of minerals on Mars to, there you to work with, right, Charlie? Mm -hmm. yeah. They need better drugs there because they're bored. There's no place to go. Charlie, if if you were younger. <laughs> And you were, and they were lining up people to go to Mars. Would you go? Yeah, if I was back. I'd go in a second. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would send <laughs> Alan. I'll I'll go to the moon. Just send me to the moon. I'll be happy to go yeah. to the moon. Oh, but you didn't want to go to the Titanic uh, on that uh, <laughs> submergible. My chances of surviving going to the moon and surviving in that That's piece of better. crap are much better. Unless you're on the Challenger. <laughs> uh, you know, I the mean, the Challenger didn't go to the moon either, Phil. Yeah. I know it blew up. Christian McCullough. That's what the joke was. Where did Christian McCullough go on vacation? Oh. All over Florida. <laughs> well, oh, that's very me. tasteful. Did she play with Chief Yeldon in high school? Well, I, I, I think what, what, Chrissy McCullough, I believe, was pretty hot looking. She was the teacher. My sister. Oh no, she was wasn't. Uh, no, then that's not the one I'm thinking of. What was the other one? There was one. There was a br brunette who oh, died. Oh, I forgot. My sister. Christy Nome. Sally Ride. <laughs> Sally Ride? No, she no, she didn't <laughs> die in the challenge. No, she didn't die in space. No. You're joking around. No, in fact, she just died recently. Okay, Tony, I liked it. I said, I'm only joking. She got mad at me. <laughs> well, she was, you know, her, her class, the teacher that blew up. Yeah, she was. She, she know, had... her, her class liked her. She only blew up in front of them once. Yeah. <laughs> that's not funny. You see, yeah, you know, bad. that's not funny. These, these people are yeah, people man. who, yeah, you know, this is a woman who, who went, was doing yeah. it to uh, kind of get... <laughs> What are you laughing about, Charlie? <laughs> Alex, if they actually You're incorrigible, Charlie. Charlie. Don't laugh at Charlie, that's sick. Oh, that's funny, Alan. Huh? That's about time. Alan's Alan's been on a, over a year, and this is the first time anything's been funny. Oh, I don't know. She had blue <laughs> eyes, one blue that way. I mean, there were so many jokes. She told her I husband, could... you feed the dogs, I'll feed the fish. What was well, you the know, I got to tell you, I got to tell you. There, there's a thing I call folk jokes, and what they are, 
If they were jokes, there would be a national tragedy, and all of a sudden the next day there was the same joke going all around the country. Oh, yeah. And you Rutgers. wondered, how did this thing land, you know, in the public consciousness and then spread around? Now, this was at a time when there wasn't really an, in, you know, the Internet wasn't quite as uh, uh, yeah. vital as it is Perfect. today. So how did it get out there? Because I remember the joke right after the Challenger thing, and they said, you know what, what, what caused the Challenger? Freebasing. Freebasing. That's right. Yeah. You heard it, right? I, I and, have a and, friend and, that was a stockbroker. That's and the, the answer uh, right there. The stock and, market and, and, is where they right. started. And he would oh, call oh people God. trying to get them to buy stock. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, he didn't buy it himself. He, he bought apartment buildings. But, uh, you know. No, but uh, what I'm the, saying is that that's how these, <laughs> these folk <laughs> jokes got yeah. all around the country. Was because in uh, the, sitting in on, uh, in stock brokerage firms, they got the joke, and another guy told them the joke, and they would tell somebody in San Francisco, and then it got spread out there. And before you know it, the same jokes going all over the country. But you know how you play telephone? You say to one person yeah, something, yeah. and then it changes, yeah. and then you say it to somebody else, and it changes. Yeah. Even well, these more. jokes pretty much remain the same way. Remain the same. Yeah, yeah. which, yeah. Is, which yeah. is interesting. Well, amazing, amazing. Because the stockbrokers are not telling you the truth anyway. Right. Are they Republican? Of course. <laughs> well, that's why they're not telling the truth. Nah. You know, not Democrats are because they want commission, not because they the Democrats are sworn to tell the truth. Alpo what? dog food. What? 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 His stockbroker calls him and talks. Phil stockbroker. I got a big company going IPO. What is it? Dog food. Big deal. <laughs> I've got like five hundred shares. Well, they don't do anything. You'll, you'll have to they explain that. Guy. Later. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let's mm -hmm. diagram that joke. Oh, I don't think it's a joke. I was everybody. just kind of like poking fun at him, really. Like well, no, but let's diagram that joke. How, yeah. how exactly did you get from that to funny? Well, I didn't think it was funny, actually. Why are you laughing? Then why did you laugh like, while you were still, saying I was it. joking about it with a stockbroker, giving him like, a hot tip being like he an gets Alpo a hot drink. tip for Alpo. You know, Alpo could be a hot tip. Uh, it could, but, but it's not innovative, though. By the way, my favorite commercials, I got to tell you, on television yeah. today, and I love them, are the ones for uh, the dog food. Which uh, one? Uh, the, 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 delivery, the delivery system for dog food. Chewy. Is, Chewy. Oh. Yeah. oh Chewy. And, and the like the dog sitting in the chair. Talking mm. to this guy and going, yeah, when that Chewy thing came, my tail went so much, I broke the vase. Wow. And the well, guy says, it's vase. And then they talk some more, and he said, well, boy, I'll tell you, man, one day you guys are going to have the tail, and we're going to be sending away for Chewy for you. <laughs> and then he goes, well, that might be. And then the dog goes, vase. And he says, stop oh, it. He says, vase. <laughs> That's the whole commercial. And I love it. And there's another one with a cat sitting there, and they're giving out all the money to the family because it, somebody died. Reading and of the will. The reading of the will. Yeah. And the, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the, ca the, the cat gets uh, a cat. lifetime Marbles. supply of Chewy, right? Mm -hmm. Marbles the cat. Marbles the cat. And the cat goes, I love that old man. And then they go, and there's something else. And so and so, you get um, what was it that the the guy got? He got something. Train set. The train set, right? And then to Mr. Marbles, I'm give him all my properties. And they're going, what is this all about? And the cat goes, hey, you got the train set. I mean, these ads are terrific. They're just yeah. terrific. Never seen those. You're going to like that Jack in a Box Snoop Dogg commercial. It's actually uh, pretty good. He's standing there in like a robe with gold all over the place. And, uh, uh, and uh, you know what the, what the, uh, what the uh, brunt of the thing was. Uh, munchy, uh, uh, munchy meals at Jack in a Box. Yeah. 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 Uh, when, when you see it on TV, you like it. It's it's. it's I well haven't done. seen it, and God knows our TV set is on all day long. Mm -hmm. Well, it was probably on Fox. No. <laughs> That's why it's so hot in New York. I've mm -hmm. seen it online. I haven't they seen They don't it. have Jack in the Box from the East Coast, do they? No, I think they have them any, everywhere. I you know, know somebody, all, I can't say area. that I've seen it. There's no Jack in no, the Box because, in Manhattan. Uh, I got a guy in the East Coast that always comes out here and he's Jack in the Box. Yeah, but they got White Castle. And we don't have White Castle, 
And I yeah, like them. You like White Castle? Oh, oh yeah, Castle. those little There's burgers. Yeah. You got to buy them in the freezer. I no, I used you to. Know why, I you know why we like them? Because they're so terrible. Yeah. They're really oh, terrible. I mean, come on, it's a, po- it's on a it. terrible excuse for meat. You know, you can buy them in the freezer. So thin, uh, you don't so. know that it's meat. It's mystery meat. Yeah, you can buy them in the freezer, Phil. Yeah, I've I've tried yeah. that. Well, you used to go down. Fresh. You used to get a bag yeah. of like a half a dozen of them. Yeah, and then you would just eat a whole half a dozen. Remember they were like twenty cents a piece or nineteen. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We've got a White Castle right down the street from here. You know, that's kind of racist, isn't it? What? <laughs> you, you live in a black neighborhood. Well, I think it's very nice of them to put a white castle in a black neighborhood. Yeah, you know, you want a black in it's a black neighborhood. That was yeah. cute, Phil. I mean, come on, would you call the place Black Castle? Maybe. Black. That's no, how you got the black then, knight. Why not get a black hamburger? Castle? No, that'd be in a in a, in a, in a, in a, in a movie. In there. movie, that'd be a place you go because that's where all the evil was at the Black Castle. You know. Yeah. Or Castle Black. You remember that was in Game of Thrones. Castle Blanca. Oh, Casablanca is That's White right. Castle. They were open all night. White Castles. But it used to be right by my mother's work. It's still there. What? Oh. White Castles open all night for burgers. There you go. Really? Only you would know that. I don't, oh, I don't I know, know if the one of my, my, I don't know if the one of my neighborhood is. However, you know. Yeah. yeah. The only one I ever ate at is on Long La, La, Las Vegas Boulevard, and it was garbage. They yeah. had a White Castle. Yeah, a couple of years ago when I was there. Everybody wanted to go, and we went, and it was horrible. And you didn't time. like it? Isn't this right probably the Orange Julius? Right on the stove. Uh, oh, I used to get those. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They went out with a pretzel. Isn't this oh, what we used to right. call? Isn't this what we used well, to call a full uh, a full house? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got ten. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I just had to say hello. I was watching on my car, but. Tony's Tony's joke was so hilarious about dog poop. I just was like laughing so hard I had to call in. Man, it was incredible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you didn't uh, have a stroke, did you? But I would think that if it was that funny, you would have had to pull off to the side of the road. He's not actually <laughs> driving. This is a driver's training car. Yeah. Did you get a new car, Rob? It's nice. Yeah, the way he's driving. How do you know? No, got- no, it's just my Hyundai. Oh. Why would you and, think it was a new car, Phil? What? Does because it have- I thought he had a I thought he had a Volkswagen, and I didn't know he had a sunroof. Oh, I did. Yeah, I did have a Volkswagen. Wow, but I, I, I sold it back. Ah. The coolest sunroof is when Brian's coming back, and he goes through that tunnel in in the uh, in his car, and you can see the lights on the sunroof bouncing. That's cool. Yeah. The tunnel. Yeah. So I Brian, I uh, love. Brian, how's everything at work? Uh, that's good. I mean, uh, are you are you doing less business because there's no COVID, or are you doing more wow. business? <laughs> no, no, because we have uh, we have all our other assays that we used to do before all the other infectious disease like uh, HPV, HCV, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, how about MRSA, tuberculosis? Yeah, TB, TB, MPB, TB, yeah. TB. yeah. So, so all that stuff that we used to do during COVID, we stopped doing all that just to supply the world with COVID. Mm-hmm. Now that COVID's done, we sort of had a little break for a couple months, but now we're picking up all of our new stuff. And since we had that break, we moved every, we're moving up everything to Lodi right now. So I'm in so charge of you, that. You... And the director of manufacturing is having back surgery, so they want me to run that factory for her. Hey, uh, you for guys supplied the world with COVID? I, I thought Wuhan Lab did. No, he was going to say Not that. funny. Yeah, it's funny. No, it's no, not. Nobody's yeah. laughing. No, nobody want you, you guys don't want to know where it came from. Oh, no, it didn't come from China. <laughs> Who cares it where it came from? From the White House. Yeah, Again, it doesn't care. matter it where doesn't, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter spread if they it would have warned us. It doesn't matter. No, if they warned us, it still would have gotten it. would have. Yeah, they yeah. warned us three months after uh, they started having. Oh, uh, Trump, Trump wouldn't have listened to it anyway. Yeah, Trump, Trump wouldn't have listened to it. In fact, he didn't listen to it. Let him come in. It's okay. remember, remember the uh, the interview. Wait, 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 wait. Scott he... Boddicker said. Sorry. Scott Boddicker said something. What, Scott? Oh, I was, I was going to say. Sorry. Did, did Trump say something like, "It'll be over in two weeks"? Yeah, yeah. Like that. yeah. And yeah. pretty much it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two <laughs> weeks. 
Yeah. Wiped yeah. out. How many in the world? Charlie, right. what, what's the current count on the world population that died from it? And my mother's one of them. A million and a half. No. No, the world. That's, the that's, the that's world. here in the U.S. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. And, and when, it, when it was going up to like 30,000, he said, oh, the this is only going to so be much about lower under Biden than wait, 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 hold, hold on a second. What would you say? It, no, I'm saying when it was going up, he thought it was going to stop at 50,000 people for the U.S. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, isn't that enough deaths as it is? But why? why yeah, okay, Ray, 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 Ray oh, was sorry. trying to talk. Yes, Ray. Do, do you remember the, the, the audio interview with Bob Woodward where he yes. where he admitted that he knew it was going to be really bad and he didn't want to tell anybody information for a long yeah. time? You're yeah, Woodward yeah. had the book too, yeah, Ray. Yeah, well. Nobody. Don't forget that. Nobody knew how bad it was going to be. And he knew it was airborne. He though. said that eventually it would mutate to the point where it was like the common cold. And that's where and he was right. No, when did Trump yeah. ever say that's that? That's not what he said to Woodward. I never heard that. Yeah, uh, I he heard the whole thing. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Will you listen to what what Ray is saying, Ray? Okay, he told Woodward that he knew it was going to be really bad. I heard him say this, he and that he Ray wasn't right. going to tell people. Yeah, he didn't want to scare them. He didn't want to get them in panic. Uh, uh, markets, I think. And he didn't want to panic. Oh, come on. Population. Come on, Phil. Uh, Wake Jesus. up. That's a pretty lame excuse for him, Phil. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. It's always just. That's a great leader. Yeah. yeah. That, well, yeah. A great leader A great leader says this could be a real problem for us if we don't hunker down and do something right now. Do you, do you remember <laughs> when Bush was reading this uh, to the children in the school and the 9-11 uh, and the mm -hmm. planes hit the thing and he was told but he continued to read because he didn't want to that wasn't uh, the reason he kept reading was because he didn't was, have more information they only had spotty information on it yeah, at that moment wanna... he then continued with it for a short time excused himself and then got the full information and on what had in happened. the uh, air force one yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, went in the well, air. What was and... he supposed to do? Tell the kids? Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, the same with Trump. You know, uh, what are you supposed to do? Tell the, uh, everybody's going to die? You know? Uh, oh. Nobody no, but, knew that, no, Phil. No, Not even seconds. Trump. We're talking seconds. When they show that film. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Seconds. One person yeah. at a time. Brian? Get on no, the thing, we're talking about seconds, and I, I don't agree with that either. I didn't care for Bush, but I didn't agree when they're showing that film and they show seconds ticking off and he wasn't doing anything it's not compared to months of and a year of not doing well, anything well let me let me be very honest at the moment that the build the uh, world trade center got hit by both planes what could he possibly do sitting in a classroom in florida yeah. even if he hopped on air force one what could he do he couldn't stop what inevitably happened nope. you know uh no. But Although he, Trump could have stopped some of the death in this country by yeah, telling people yes. to wear masks, well, he, he could have. He could have come he, up with this stupid conspiracy theories on how to fix yourself with bleach and and some well, of the other well, drugs well, that had never proved out. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, light up your ass. Bleach yeah, is good stuff. <laughs> yeah, it, it keeps your hair nice and colored. Well, let's not talk about some of these false uh, narratives. Uh, yeah, because you'll I, get demonetized, and they'll beat you up. I'll get demonetized again or something. I don't know. Yeah. But, how much money are you making on this, Alex? Mm -hmm. It isn't a matter of how much I'm making. Actually, if I you get another, if I get another hit on this thing, it's uh, one of uh, what do they call it? Uh, uh, strike. A strike. Yeah, and if I get three strikes. I can never You're be out. on on YouTube again. Wow! Right? Yeah, uh, that's what uh, RFK Jr. was talking about. Was the um, kill the Jews? Yeah. No, he he was talking about how uh, the uh, legacy news media and YouTube and and Facebook and so forth were uh, controlling what stories could be said. And if you said anything that was different than the uh, than the government narrative. Uh, they would suspend your account, and uh, that's what they did. You know, you mentioned Stephen Crowder earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what they did to him mm -hmm. uh, and, and a number of other people. They, they silenced them. Well, now. the thing they said that I, that I did, I didn't yeah. do. 
you know. Yeah. No, uh, I understand. You know, but they listen to only that part of it where somebody was saying what somebody else had said, and then we yeah. all followed up with, "Was that that's ridiculous?" and how can you be irresponsible in saying something like that? We were referring to Fox TV. Yeah, I And so all they did was listen to that small part because that's what their uh, algorithms chopped out and played for them. And it was th two years old. You gotta remember, it was yeah. two years old. What the harm, if there was harm, it had already been done. Should have let me know the next day, right? That's because they laid off all those people. But what Facebook. happened is, I then protested it, and they went back and listened to it again, and still said it still holds. Well, it's because they only listened to that portion that the algorithm yeah. played for them, and I can't protest that. I have no other, mm. you know. So I keep praying that Twitter will go to video, you know. Oh, no! you never know. <laughs> yeah. At least uh, you'll be able to say what you want to say. Yeah, well, well, no, you, not, not necessarily, not necessarily, you know, I mean, I just, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. I hate it when somebody, you know, get a hold of me and ask me the next day if this, if you said this, if this went on, but mm -hmm. two years later. Now, YouTube, uh, you said that sometimes you post two shows and one of them. I gets post two shows. One of them is the recording that I do here. And the other yeah. one is the recording that uh, YouTube automatically makes. Right. Okay. Which one was getting demonetized? The, the, YouTube uh, the, the one or? that went uh, live, you know? Uh, and and yet the other one, they never hit me up for, you know? And it's the same show. It's yeah, and I have been demonetized many times on two different shows. On, on a different show, on you know, on certain shows like demonetized because of what happened on that, that show. Monday show, you know. Yeah, and then I re I recorded it. Okay, mm -hmm. I you know I uh, I recorded it as well, and that one never got hit. Only the one that went live, mm -hmm. you know. And then yeah, I've had them demonetize the Monday show, which is never controversial, is what? it, Brian? Oh. Yeah, never. Yeah, never. We never talk about we never hey, talk about politics. Mandy said really? she wanted to punch me in the face. So did a lot of other people, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Not flying them but out. But she here. verbalized it. That's considered a public service. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll talk about what. Hey, I think I think maybe we've lost Kevin tonight. I think Kevin's mm. asleep. Oh, no, no, he's there. No, he's there. He's there. You, there. Haven't, you haven't said anything basically hey, tonight. If you got Kevin. it, oh, smoke it. You know, maybe, maybe it's because yeah. Phil won't shut up, right? My, uh, yeah, <laughs> okay, that that that's it. Yeah, because yeah. if you, you know, I was actually I was actually reading about his uh, discs, uh, hydrogen discs. Oh, you did? Okay. I did too. Uh, kinetic, did too. kinetic plasma. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. It's yeah, interesting, I, isn't it? It's been around hey, hey, since yeah. two thousand eight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, well, wait a minute. I, I worked minute. for a company that actually did the first hydrogen cars. They're still yeah. doing them, but yeah. this uh, is an alternative to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now that we're at the end of the show, I guess we got to go. Yeah. Have a nice night. <laughs> Scott Have Boddicker, a, yeah. what were you going to say, Scott? Oh, shut well, up, I, Phil. I was reading an article, too, about what these hydrogen discs. It was an article from 2010. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, you do. So you, they're suppressing that uh, stuff, and they're and it's they're not take suppressing time. it at all. Phil. It's going to take time for this kind of technology. Apparently, apparently that kind apparently of technology. It's hokey. Yes. yes. Well, no. What's <laughs> happened is that kind of technology has not been taken seriously. Okay. Yeah. For it's one reason or another. It's experimental stage. Well, it's a lot like electricity solar. isn't. Okay, so that's yeah, the difference. Yeah, but electricity has other problems. I mean, you know, like, where... Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to have we're a lot of people. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, please. Yeah. Yeah. Phil, let's... Thanks, let, let, Phil, don't... Good night. It, it, that's... Good night, Phil. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play, uh, well, yeah, the, I'm gonna I, play uh, the theme. I here. actually had a fan call me from Pittsburgh. I think I hear that music. At the store. You've got a yeah, fan. Shout out too. to Dave from Pittsburgh. Dave, Dave from Pittsburgh. Do you have a fan? Yeah. How much well, you believe that? Well, life is you know? getting too short. Anyway, the theme, the theme is characters. playing. <laughs> Phil, the Phil, thank you for help, helping me spend the first half hour because Lori's tape wasn't available. Well, I, I know. I'm, I'm a cheap date. Uh, <laughs> and, and thanks to Kevin. Kevin, always a pleasure to have you there. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I know that, that, you know, call tomorrow night. You won't have to talk over somebody. 
Uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah, uh, um, um, and of course our old friend uh, Alan is with, with been with us tonight. Thank you, Ch- thank you to Charlie Wallace, Tony. Thank you for all the wonderful jokes you pulled tonight. Sure, uh, Jeff, you <laughs> thank you for being here. Scott, you know, call anytime. Hey, okay. Hey, it, it'll be beef days tomorrow about this time, so I'll call live from the metropolitan area of Solon, you got, Iowa. You got white corn, you got yellow corn, you got candy corn. Shut up, what Phil. Are the corns got? We, don't do, up, we don't do no white corn Shut up, Phil. Here. Brian, thank you for calling, and thank you to Ray. Will everybody give a big wave goodbye? And I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, folks. That's our Susan panel for tonight. Uh, and we'll, we'll get another one assembled tomorrow. There'll be one assembling for the Jack Bishop Show, The Intersection, next on Skype at GabNet Live. Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.